we're on the other side of the Uji River in Kyoto today. Next to the statue of Murasagi Shikibu, who wrote the tale of Genji. Tea grinding in the shop window. We stopped at Ocha no Kambayashi here in Uji, the tea capital of Japan. They've been making tea since the late 1500s from the local tea in the Uji fields. An incredible place to pick up some matcha. You could spend up to $500 a kilogram. Next door is Ito Kyuemon, a newcomer established in 1832. They're pretty famous for their parfaits and sweets, and they've recently turned them into ice cream bars. So of course, I had to try the Mont Blanc inspired bar here in front of the Nakaniwa, the courtyard garden. Oishi. We're taking a path to truly travel back in time. This is Biodoin, 972 years old, no fires, no earthquake damage, original. Biodoin's a Buddhist temple. It's the building you find on the back of the Japanese 10 yen coin. This is a World Heritage Site. Every angle is perfect. Yodoin was built in the 1050s as a reflection of the Buddhist pure lands. The Phoenix Hall here at Yodoin is original, but the bell tower is a recreation. The bell is one of the three most important in Japan, particularly famous for its beauty. The original bell is on site. Byodoin has an underground museum that houses a lot of the original relics, including carved Buddhas, the original phoenix from the top of the structure, and a lot more, but there's no pictures allowed. Cheers. Well, we went to Donguri for dinner. It's a chain restaurant in Kyoto, but it's good. Isekai style. Tepan in front of you. I got a hamburger steak. And this dish, which is called potatoes and cheese are best friends. They're well known for okonomiyaki, which is always fun to make in front of yourself. A little sweet sauce. Cover it with a bit of mayonnaise. A dash of seaweed. And katsuobushi. Yum. Ochazuke, rice served in tea. Got some pickles on it. And for a late night snack, we went back to Toto Stando in Kyoto. Grilled oysters and scallops. Some words to live by. Ku, neru, asobu. Eat, sleep, play. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.